or name meaning came from an idea that Nick had uh, about like when you're born with a clean slate and as you grow up, you're, you know, like things bad or good can be like woven into you. And it's sort of a battle to figure out what you want to define you, whether it's, you know, bad or good, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, the first the first lyric of the record is kind of describes that whole thing. So usually I just say, "I'll listen to the first track," but and then from there we go on to other stuff. But yeah. <laughs> we describe our sound um, individually a little bit different. A lot of like Nick's first thing is like, "Oh, it's heavy metal," and I'll say, "Oh, it's like Foo Fighters, hard rock." with some metal tinge and stuff. I don't know what Josh would say. I would just say it's uh, metal with a hard rock edge and uh, elements of, you know, shred. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> heavy band. Yeah. There you go. Heavy rock, hard alternative grunge. Uh, post hardcore. Post hardcore. Metal core. Metal core, death metal, black metal, um, pop rock. Taylor Swift pop. Um, I feel great about it. I think for us, it was written really, really quickly, not because we had a deadline, but just because uh, given the situation, I think we all just had this sort of creative renaissance for writing music. So once we had Shane out there, uh, things started happening really quick. And before we knew it, we had 12, 13 songs written. And so I think now what, you know, looking back on it, we see where we could expand even more because we have that perspective. Yeah, I think it was mostly um, because we just had it, all the material, and we didn't want to like have that be on the next record. So just might as well put it on here because it was like a you know a time in our lives where we wrote the stuff. So might as well like just a put snapshot it on the, of that yeah. period. And it was kind of like we knew that if we did take anything off, we weren't going to put it on something else later. We weren't want to be one of those bands that puts out different songs in every territory. You know, we just decided to put it all on there. I think, you know, a lot of the things that we would do differently are just, you know, based on, you know, little slight mix things like, ah, oh, you know, I wish we could have gotten a more aggressive vocal take here because I mean when you are writing, writing and recording a record really quickly you kind of you blow through and you don't have the perspective to look back and like a lot of the times we would listen to the demo versions and hear something attitude wise in the vocals that we liked better on the demo than came out so I think if, if there was something to point out that I wish that we spent a little more time on it was just you know like getting that like attitude across you know in some of the vocals we recorded the album in November and December of 2013. So it's been out in art for us for two years already, you know? And I think like you were saying, you know, as a new band, we would, it would be in our best interest to just be as prolific as we can right now and get as much out there and show what we can do just because it's, you know, with the internet and the landscape of just media and all forms now, it's hard to stay, uh, you know, stay relevant, I guess, or just, you know, stay, in the public eye so we just want to do what we do best just you know continue to write music and expand i dropped guitar on probably 70 percent of the songs so now i'm just like this <laughs> but i do play on like three of our songs tonight i'll be playing well there's times on the record where there's 12 tracks of guitar yeah. <laughs> so it's like having three guitars live you know kind of freaks people out but most people aren't realizing that i mean on a normal rock record nowadays there's probably at least eight guitars on a chorus or something you know it's just yeah. like it's how, how you look at it yeah and how much you know a lot of bands will put a lot of it just on a track or something instead of actually playing it so it's cool to be have that option to really play it with three guitar players if it had three on the record. I think that we'll go in, you know, in every direction. I, I've I've like learned to be, uh, I've learned how to scream a lot better and uh, 
sing a lot better and stuff. So I know that my vocals will go each direction, you know. And as a band, I think we want to go heavier and softer and any which way we can, really. Yeah, everybody says that, I guess. But I think for us, really, like we've seen what our strengths and weaknesses are after touring for pretty much a year straight on the record so far. So I think, you know, when we start writing, we're going to think back to like what's connected really well with us and the audience and which songs we like to play and, you know, just go from there. I think, you know, being somewhat forced to start the new band, it, uh, it, you know, got us to find our own identity with the music, you know, so it, it wasn't as much of a side project as it was our, our only project, you know, and it was the only thing we're putting our energy into. So I think, you know, for us, we never viewed it as a side thing. It was just like the only thing. Yeah, there's a lot of like positive uh, pick up the pieces and move on type thing. Cause I mean, that's where we were in our lives. So especially these guys. Yeah. So. It's just kind of like, you know, taking what you have and, 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 you know, ultimately the outcome is up to you. You can, you can control that at least. So it's, it's whether you let it be a positive or a negative outcome, you know, right now we're, we're at the, the point where we want to present ourselves the same way we have, you know, in the, in the past, like we, we don't want somebody who'd seen our old band to show up and, and feel underwhelmed by it. So we try to bring as much as we can to, to the show every time. And, you know, we try to put on as professional of a show, you know, given, you know, what, you know, our, uh, resources are and I think you know we're getting better at that every tour um I think future plans is just anything <laughs> try to get a photo for the snapchat oh. <laughs> don't worry about me Come check out our live show. Buy a record if you like it. Buy a t-shirt if you like those things. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> if you like clothes, we have them. If you, uh, Buy them. If you enjoy music, you will like our band. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. T-Swift Grindcore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>